Here at Buck Commander, like across the board, there's such a variety of personalities. We've all got our place, and we work really well together, even though we may not always agree on everything. Let's just get this over with. You know, you know, you know about. But there's one thing we can all agree on, and that's that Tyler Farr will never be the captain of the ship. Get the sun. So this week on Buck Commander, Jason Aldean has property he never hunts, so guess who's going to it? Me. <laughs> I don't care what they say, I man and captain my own ship. Oh. How much fun are we having? Now here at Buck Commander, you got a pretty good mix of totally different personalities. You've got Lange, who's really an overthinker, borderline on slow. Really just slow. Came up over this ridge and there's a really solid buck down here with about five does. I think I was too analytical for Grant and Rochi. I was wanting to look at him in the spot and scope and they got impatient and took off and one of them's stalking up on him right now. Then you got Rochi, definitely the puppet master. He is the commander of chaos. So I was hired to do this by Rochi himself and uh, the credit goes to him, so. Uh, Willie, brother, don't go to sleep when we're all together. It's just rude. When you mop there, baby. Do work, son. Doing the air. <laughs> oh, 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 Willie. This Sorry. was all Matt's idea. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. He just sits back, watch everything fall apart, and he doesn't suffer any consequences. Then there's Willie, you know, the proverbial rabbit's foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? What just happened? Uh, Tombo said last night, Tombo said, uh, you know, you, you've had this rabbit's foot, man. You guys, like, you're super lucky. It's been that way for like 15 years. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. It's wild, isn't it? Actually, it's not even a rabbit's foot. It's a golden horseshoe shoved so far up his ass. Tombo, he's a Dumbo. He's pretty much the class clown. We got it done, dude. First. First day. Sounds good. First afternoon. Are you kidding me? This really hurts my nostril right now. <laughs> Jason Aldean, 100% our Zen master. I mean, he thrives on the power of positivity. Good thing about 2021, it's only got one way to go. It can't get any worse. I'll say that, and I guess it could always get worse, but I don't know how. And then, of course, there's Luke, who we all know, he's one of the most excitable people on the globe. <laughs> he's hammered. We've all got our place and we all work together, even though sometimes we don't always agree. I think there's one thing we can all agree on is that T far will never, ever, ever, ever be the captain of our ship. Well, me and Benny were down here at the Glenville Plantation in uh, Pittsview, Alabama. It's it's about uh, what is it, probably what is it, 80 degrees now, 84, 84 degrees. <laughs> you know when the temperature warms up, they said that's when to go after them. So we're down here, <laughs> gonna give them hell. Oh, no, it's hot. It is hot. Here's the deal. I'm not a planner, never been a planner. You know, I, I like to keep everything just, you know, go with the flow, laid back. But sometimes the best trips are the ones you don't plan on doing and you just wing it and it works out. I know people, most people say I have a good feel and I think today's the day. I, to be quite honest with you, I don't, I don't have an idea. But 99% of the time, uh, 
They bought you right in the headquarters. What's going on? Hey, where are we at? There ain't nothing going on. Nothing that's going on. I mean, is TFAR organized? No, not at all. TFAR doesn't sweat the small details. This is a fair question, don't get mad. I mean, did you check the weather? Yeah. Last night? Yeah. Oh, we got a hole coming. We're gonna fish for about 10 minutes. Huh? Never mind. Okay, we got some yellow approaching. I think yellow, yellow. means mild. It means sunny. Mild. Mild. I would just feel better if you told me you didn't check the weather. You're just like, I didn't check the weather, I just assumed it'd be fine. I would feel better if you told me that. Because if you'd checked the weather, it would have told you it was going to rain till about 11 o'clock. It was a risk. It was a 50-50 shot. Well, I just want you to know, Tyler, that I'm not bothered at all, not even the littlest bit. Just because my expectations were like, I mean, the bar was on the floor. So we're already starting off like, I'm not surprised, disappointed, none of it. It's pretty much what I expected. So if the, just, I'm just trying to make you feel better. So I got into a lease with my buddy Lee Bryce this year and we just got in the, we went up there just to scope it out, a little early trip. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? To get my bow. All right. Feels like a Jaboykin down here. Well, we were gonna persevere, stay positive, and keep hunting. And we had two does come up, one bit of down right behind us. We were trying to be positive, and I got a text from Rob that my truck is blocking the farmers being able to spray. So we have to go move the truck, which means we'll see you this evening. So that what you just saw, folks, explains everything. It just sums up my life, okay? Stuff happens. So to save y'all a little time, we didn't see anything. Um, it was fun, but now we're headed back down south, past my house to Alabama. We know they're coming there. We know they're gonna be there, so that's where we're going. You understand? It's still warm, and the deer still aren't moving. Weird. We put our best college effort on trying to shoot a whitetail in Alabama for a few days. We're still by this water, and we haven't seen one sign of life besides about three and a half wood ducks. We may have given it a day or two or three too long, so. We're out. Done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, jeez. So the reason I want to show you all this and how this has unfolded is so that you know, just because you're traveling to go to outfitters, to different places, the grass ain't always greener on the other side. Sometimes it's just fine right in your own county. My farm manager, Daryl and, and Scott, they put a lot of effort and, and so do I into maintaining our farm, putting a lot of hard work, sweat, tears, blood in this, in this farm. So why let that go to waste and just not take advantage of it? 
Also, I don't need a Weather Channel app or anything to tell me what the weather's doing. If the weather's bad, I know because I come out here on my porch, stick my finger in the air, know it's bad, know it's raining, whatever, and I can sit right here in the house. As you can see, when I say we're on in my farm, I actually live on my farm. Unlike Luke and Jason, I live on my, because my house is right there. Sometimes after you've had a little rough spell, you just gotta knock the dust off. If a doe presents herself, she's gonna die. Which one do you want? Backstrap 30. So this, is a Swedish axe, Damascus, and these are what you use to break onto someone's property. So a little disclaimer here, uh, we are not entering someone else's property, it's actually my property, but my buddy uh, decided to put a side-by-side -side trail right uh, behind my deer stand. I'm not cursing him. Brad Brewer, you know who you are. I'm actually, thanking him because this doe is laid up on the side of this two track pretty as can be we found her we're gonna go get her we got a little tree cutting to do a little bob wire snipping and uh we drive right to her <sighs> oh jeez take us an old uh tell you what folks this hunting ain't for the faint of heart, you know. Yeah, there's a bunch of bob wire now, be careful. We're cutting all this so we can use this old track again, I'll tell you what. Oh, jeepers. Tell ya. Whoever did this stuff, you know, it's just not good for the habitat. Not good. Have one. Get you some. Yeah, I feel like pain. I love my farm. I love to hunt my farm, but I don't only hunt my farm. I have uh, friends in low places. I got some buddies, a buddy. That's a good one. You may have heard of him. His name's Jason Aldean. He goes by, uh, he's known for these songs when the lights come on and when the lights go off. Regardless of what his light situation is, we decided to keep him in the dark and we snuck onto his property. Me and Daryl, we have uh, gotten the blind up here. Uh, this this uh, hunt is sponsored by Jason Aldean. We'd like to thank him because this is his lease, but he ain't hunting it, so it's not occupied. There's what is it, vacancy or non-vacancy? Squ squatter's rights. Yeah, squatter's rights. We're occupying it, so. Yeah. We're keeping it warm for them, keeping this redneck pond warm. But we're back here on the lease in Columbia. Me and Daryl sitting here. He said some new bugs show up. And uh, we're walking in the winter wonderland, folks. I mean, this is, this is looks like Iowa. It's awesome, so I think we're gonna see some. We'll see. So we are running out of daylight, snow's coming down, and uh, I hear Daryl say there's a buck. So the problem is um, 
He's on a hot dough, he is in full rut, and he is in the middle of a cornfield, so we don't know which direction he's gonna go, and I'm asking Daryl if he's a shooter, I'm trying to get my eyes on him, and uh, yeah, it's just getting hairy. He's between you and that toe, right at the edge of the corn, his head's up right now. See him, see him. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big ten, bro. <laughs> God, Mark, what just happened? What just happened? Big ten. <laughs> have you seen him? I don't think so. We have a wanderer buck that we just we collected. A, I think we have a bonus buck. Well, he's a trespasser is what he is. That's why I shot him. We don't want these trespassing bucks coming on Daryl's property. So. Got rid of that joker. God dang, that's awesome. We're at, uh, hey, I gotta give a big shout out. Thank you, uh, Daryl Prentice over here. But mostly, thank you, Jason Aldi, for not hunting your piece <laughs> so I can shoot these deer. <laughs> I hope I still have a job after this. This might be the biggest buck I've shot. I think so. He looked good. Ever. He looked good. He looked real good. I think I just smoked the biggest buck in my life. I'm pretty sure we got Langdon coming over bringing little Betty, my old black and tan, my deer tracking dog just to make sure we got a good trail and get on it. We're pretty sure we put a good shot on this buck and I think it's probably gonna be the biggest buck I've ever shot in my life, but we wanna make sure so that Betty needs a little more training. She's a little practice, it ain't gonna hurt her, so better safe than sorry, so we're about to go, go look for her. Betty. Look at her. Best thing is, y'all didn't come down here and walk on her. Found him. Got you there, boy. What? Betty, where you at, fool? I ain't seen it yet, but Betty dang got it. Nice work, Langdon. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Winter Wonderland. Oh, ha! Oh my. Oh, Betty, oh, good oh. job. Good job. Good gimme kicker. Good job. Hey, I think we can officially. Good I job. Think we she is no longer in training. I think we can officially Tell me, remove take that, that in training. Thing off. Oh my God! <laughs> I told you. Oh my. My, my. This? It's the biggest deer I've ever shot in my life. Look at that thing. Th are you kidding me? How much fun are we having? Be come here, little girl. Let's get them thorns out. Hey, are you kidding me? Tell me about it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is what happens when you have uh, friends and uh, leasing partners like Jason Aldean, who hasn't hunted this year, because there's no big deer here. So Jason, just don't hunt this place. There's no big deer here. I don't care what they say. I man and captain my own ship. A big shout out to uh, Jake Aldean for uh, letting me hunt his uh, place <laughs> down the road over there. No, seriously, it was down the road. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. Biggest buck I've ever shot. Thank you, sir. And Daryl, you know. <laughs>